Hello YouTube, this is Ahim. Uh, so this week's tutorial is how to use the new iLock and how to move your old licenses from it. So the first thing that you need to do is of course get the iLock out of the box and then plug it into your USB port. And uh, since I have two USB keys right now, I have the iLock 2, that is the brand new one that you can see here. And then I have the older USB one. Uh, I will transfer all my old licenses from it. And to make the iLock work on your computer, you first have to sign into iLock.com. And then go to download. And then you have to download the iLock installer and the driver installer. And after you have done that, install them. And uh, it's basically just next, next, next kind of deal, like all, usually all modern installers are. Then you go to iLock.com and then you log in to your account. And I have not never used this new iLock, so it might take a bit longer. Also, do note that uh, iLock.com doesn't work with the Firefox 4 or 5. So you have to use the uh, Firefox 3 or Firefox 6 or I have the Safari to use just iLock. I usually use uh, Firefox for all my internet browsing otherwise. Anyway, uh, here is the new iLock. So I'll just click save and continue. So it has now added a new iLock to my computer. And then I want to move licenses. Select source iLock, which is this one, which is the iLock one, which is the first one that I ever got. And then uh, I'll choose all my licenses that I want to transfer, which is all these here. If someone was actually thinking that I'm using a uh, Pirate copies of my plugins, you're completely wrong. Anyway, let's. This is the source iLock, iLock 3, and let's move the licenses. And then this will take a few minutes and uh, we'll resume when it's done. Okay, it's almost done. As we can see, the bar is full. It should be completed in a few seconds. Okay, so now I have all my licenses transferred to the new iLock. And uh, basically, now I can just unmount my old uh, iLock. But I'll also show you how to download new licenses to your iLock. So let's say you bought the Slate Trigger. You get an email like this, uh, it has some random numbers uh, like this, and then I'll just go to the uh, download licenses, no sorry, uh, uh, redeem license code. And then it asks the license code here, so if I'll just type in random numbers here, it, it shows me that it's uh, incorrect. But uh, if it would be correct, it would all light up as green. And uh, then you get the download, uh, sorry, then you click the get license. And then you go to download licenses. For example, I have the SPL uh, demos here. So if I want to transfer them, I'll just click here. And then uh, download to iLock and it then gives you the similar screen that you saw when I was transferring the uh, licenses from my old iLock to the new iLock. So why did I get the new iLock? So, well, the old iLock only can handle 100 licenses. And uh, as you saw from my, I have uh, 66 plus eight uh, demo licenses on my red iLock. So, Basically, I was running out of space, and the new iLock can withstand uh, 500 licenses, and it has some improved 
protection code so it's harder to crack those plugins. But anyway, thank you for watching and make good music. So I will be spending some time in the studio for the next few weekends. Uh, we'll be doing drums this weekend and then guitars and uh, bass and vocals and keyboards. If you want to ask me something, shoot me a question in the comments below and uh,